Uh, okay, greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Here's the deal, it's been miserable. Now you know yesterday I showed you my studio rebuild. Didn't like it, so I changed it. I took the shelf out because it just, it just didn't need to be there. I took the little sheer curtain things down because those didn't work either. I moved all the stuff that was in the shelf onto my existing like armoire type thing that I keep stuff on. I didn't have too much on it. And I know last time when I like minimalized my entire space, my wife said she didn't like it because I only had one thing on each shelf. And she said, it looks like you're like in the process of moving and I don't like it. So now all the stuff that was on the white shelf is now on that shelf and it looks better. All that aside, here's the dealio. You know, yesterday I was talking about how freaking brutally hot it was. It's the same thing today. 97 feels like 107 a day or 108 or some shit like that. It's super hot. Heat wave. Okay, everybody's experiencing it. Problem is, is that I think my AC broke because I get that it's supposed to be hot in, you know, in a heat wave and all that shit. But the last time this happened, which was like two, three years ago, so I had my HVAC guy come out. And sure enough, there was like a, a capacitor or a motor or something or another was blown in, in the, in the uh, AC unit and it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So I called him this morning because keep in mind, last night it was 82 degrees in our house at night. It's never gotten below 80. It's, it's been brutal. Today, I called the HVAC guy, like I was getting ready to say, and he was like, oh man, you know, like he, he knows me, great guy. Don't like to have him visit because it's usually because there's a problem, but you know, anyways. So he immediately recognized my number, answered, hey CJ, how you doing? And, and then he jokingly apologized because he said, you know, it's my fault because I was driving by your place the other day and said, oh, you know what? I haven't heard from CJ in a while. And, and now your, your shit's broken and, and <laughs> you're calling me. So yeah, okay, great. So he gave me a couple of suggestions to try. One of them, he goes, I know this is kind of backwards mentality here, but you need to shut your AC off. Turn them off, but turn the fans on and let them blow and circulate the air. It's possible that everything is frozen over. So go out and look at the, at the drain and see if there's anything coming out. Well, I looked at drains all around my place and there's nothing coming out of them. So I thought, okay, maybe he's right. So I shut them off. I started a timer for one hour and he said, it's gonna get really hot in your place. And it did. So it's like 87 upstairs and it was 80, I think it's 84 downstairs. So I suffered through that. And of course, while I had the AC off, that's when I went and moved the bookshelf, took the curtains down, repainted all the holes in the wall. And I found a shelf, like a corner shelf that I used to ha have up there. And all the stuff was, all the hardware was still in place, but it was low and behind the shelves. So I never saw it. So I put that shelf back up and put the head on that. Now that's below me. It's like even below my ass behind my chair. And that's just for the light because you couldn't see that it was a head anyways, but I didn't feel the need to return it because it's kind of cool. So that's on, I kept the lights where they are and now it's just the blue background like it used to be before. I don't like that, it's too plain. It also is very reverberative, reverberate and I don't like it. I'm trying to figure out what I want to put back there. I've pulled some pictures out, but because it, it goes into a corner, when you hang the pictures, they're not going to be straight. And that might bug me too. So I think, well, I'm on my way to Michael's right now. One, because I want to go someplace that's freaking air conditioned. And two, I want to go and look and see if there's some shit that I can get that I can hang on the walls. And I don't want to spend a ton of money either. It's going to be brutal this week. It's, it's going to be in the 90s all week. So, you know, like I'm praying that he's able to come tomorrow. Now, he did say that he couldn't come today. And I actually didn't even expect him to answer the phone, you know, but he saw it was me. So he answered it. Uh, he has a party for his daughter today and it's a Sunday. So I, I get it. You know, we'll have to suffer through today. And he says, I've got a job first thing in the morning. So, you know, text me, call me, whatever in the morning, L remind me about this and let me see if I can get there by the end of the day. Now, if he can't get there tomorrow, I can't go on the road because I'm, we can't live like this for, for three more days and I'm just not going to go on the road and I'll have to do everything some other way and stay home so that he can come. Now, it's also supposed to be rainy and shitty this week. How many times have I said that though? 
but I mean, I'm sorry, it's really humid. There's only so much humidity the air can take before it has to let loose, but the rain isn't going to make it any better. It's probably just going to make it worse because it's going to be in the 90s and it's going to be rainy. So it's just going to be hot and sweltering. So I hope he can get there and, and find out what's going on. And hopefully I don't have to get an entire new HVAC system. All right. That's all I want to talk about for now because I have the AC on low and I've been dealing with no AC all weekend and I'm hot as balls. So I'm going to go into Michael's and look around and uh, and we'll see what we come up with. But for now, let's go cool off and do some shopping. Okay, boys and girls, I just went to Home Depot and bought a very small AC unit. I don't feel like listening to the HOA douchebags give me shit about it. So for now, I'm not gonna put it in the office. I, I need to give my wife some relief. So I'm gonna put it down in the living room area, but it's on this side of the fence. So they really can't see it. And to be perfectly honest, I don't give a rat's ass if they do or not. It's a heat wave and our AC's broken. So they're just gonna have to freaking deal with it. Hopefully Bob can get out to see me tomorrow. And, and it's a simple fix like it was last time. Well, relatively simple fix last time. I mean, we had to replace the motor and everything, but uh, I mean, at least it got done. But for now, we got to have some relief because I just texted her and she said that it is, it's no different. So, I mean, the entire day of, of stewing in 100 degree weather, especially after shutting it off and it raising the temperature like another five degrees in the place, just can't deal with that. So got an AC unit gonna take care of at least take the edge off I hope and kind of go from there then if I have to tomorrow I'll, I'll put the AC upstairs and just to just to get it cleared out and kind of go from there and we'll, we'll just go back and forth it's gonna take a little bit of finagling downstairs because we have those plantation shutters so I'm gonna have to figure out how the hell to do that and I'll probably break another screen trying to get it in there so I am still schwitzing here it is 95 degrees right now the sun is behind the clouds. It's sweltering. Wah! Uh, I think I got my solution for the office. And I have, well, I'll just show you when I'm done. I got to remember to show, not tell. So now I am going back to a grocery store because she wants bread. Uh, I got milk at Walmart so that I didn't have to go to a grocery store. And then she texted me after I already went out. So I got to go back. So I'm going to do that. Probably going to go buy us like some bubble tea or something and and go home and try not to stew so let's go do all that shit okay kids it's been a hell of a day it is still like sickeningly hot in here it got into the upper 80s the hvac guy had suggested that i shut off the ac and see if it was like frozen because it's been working so hard and to go out and check all you know the um, the drainage I looked at every possible drain coming out of this house and I didn't see a drop of water coming out. So I don't know what the hell's going on, but he did warn me that you're gonna shut the AC off for an hour. It's gonna get really hot in there. And it did, it is brutal in here. So hence I've got my little crown on to pull my hair back off my head. Okay, I also went and fixed the studio. Fixed. Uh, and I just didn't like the way that it was. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. Okay, and there we go. So what I did was I bought a flat black sheet and I stapled it in from ceiling down to the head, huh, to the lights, which goes below the table so you wouldn't be able to see it. Uh, I'm keeping the head down there to give it more light and then I replaced the Ulanzi lights with the Aperture MCs because the Ulanzi can't be controlled with an app and I had to keep reaching around and pulling them up and flicking them on and all that shit with these. I already have the app and I can control them just like I control, you know, the overhead and the, you know, the side ones here. So this is now what it looks like. Yay. So that's what I see when I'm filming. And now I'm going to switch back around so that you can see me sitting here. You know, and it's got the, the lights down there. Now, granted, I don't have this on the, the tripod, and you know, so that you can actually see what's going on. And it's too freaking hot for me to have all this shit going on in here. And I need to get the hell out of this office for the day. But I just wanted to show you that I did, in fact, switch it. So, you know, <clears throat> sorry, man in black. And now the background's black. And it looks kind of cool on the Ninja. But uh, I'll show you more of that after I get the AC fixed. And it's not 87 degrees upstairs. So that's it.
that's all I've got for you today because my ass is going downstairs in the AC. Oh, by the way, I did buy a window AC and we got that installed downstairs. So it's been running for exactly an hour. So I'm going to get down there and see how it feels. I already know that after like the first 10 minutes, it started to feel better down there. And I'm hoping that just sort of works its way up here, even though it's only a small window unit. I'm hoping that, you know, when I cool the air down there, it's just going to sort of with the fan on the system going, the main system, that it's going to basically cool all the air down in the entire place. I can only hope. And I can only hope that Bob shows up tomorrow uh, because he did say he had a job early in the morning and, and maybe he could stop by at the end of the day. So... <sighs> Let's hope. All right, but that's it. That's all I've got for you today. I'm schwitzing. I need to go. So uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.